Yeah. So welcome back. This is now episode four of <laughs> Gianni choking <laughs> on a big brown lens. I think you were going to get an air. Mm-hmm. A Mars a day helps you work rest and play, so. What are we doing in this episode? We make noise. We're, we're, we're off noise. location for a start. We are. We are now uh, at the Tools and Tracks Scott Works um, because there are. Whilst Gianni has tools for every eventuality, none of them are any good. <laughs> First on the list is our uh, attempt <laughs> at uh, a bung, uh, and as you can see, that weld is fantastic. So we're going to properly weld this uh, first, and then we're going to try and get some bushes off. Look how baller you are. Two Makita grinders, eh? As if, as if one wasn't enough. Oh gosh, what have you got more? Oh, another yeah. grinder? Different you discs. can never, obviously, one, too many One for grinds. cutting, one for wire brushing, one for polishing with a flat wheel. And of course, the almighty. Oh. Show me your big strong arms, Gianni. <laughs> yeah, they're over here. On the floor. Oh. Watch your head. Oh, it's been a while since I've had to do these off a car. Is that easier or harder? Harder. That's harder. That was just a test question, by the way. I knew the answer to that. <laughs> just wanted to make sure you did. So, we're going to try and get this nut off. And to make life easy. We're going to clear. <sighs> Easy or easier? Easier. Yeah. There's nothing about this that's going to be easy. So we're going to get a nice clear run of nice clean threads. And cleanish. Oh, I forgot the cat piss. Oh, don't worry. I don't, I don't, I don't go with the Did cat piss brand, mate. As if you never went straight out and bought some. I've got the door oh, here. Cat piss. Oh, it's, yeah. it's still in a package. Oh, you just never took it oh, out. Oh, what's that? Oh, you're a bit more liberal with yours. Well, you know, we can, we can <laughs> That would have cost me six pounds just to spray that about. We can afford to be a bit bored at this stage. So let's work up the stages again like we, we did with the TDR. Let's just see if we can take it off by hand. Where's my 29 mil? <laughs> oh, yeah, look at exciting. you. Wow. Straight off. I'm still bringing the air support in. Have you started uh, doing the subtitles for the next video as well? <laughs> it's alright, you can does it for you. Oh, does it? Yeah. Ah, uh, it's subtitle. Yeah. <laughs> ah, ah, that's, that's fire. Fire? That's fire. That's Yay! Fire. 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 But the main guts have been removed. Makes a horrible smell. Ah, we've got this one. Does this explode or is it just... No, it's not unless you turn the flame back. <laughs> so against our better judgement, we're doing these outer tie rod dishes, which, as we have established now, maybe they didn't need them. No, well, they didn't need them. Actually, well, they say that you can't replace them, but I found replacements. He's like a like a master blacksmith uh, forging a Japanese that? katana. That's. Japanese katanas aren't actually all that strong. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey! Hey, sir. I think that's most of the welding and burning and nonsense done. Before we wrap up here and go back to Janny's garage, this is an MX-5 airbag. And this is the safe way to dispose of an MX-5 airbag. We have confidence that this isn't going to be entertaining or problematic. What's the worst that can happen? Just see when. When? Oh, when something's actually happened? Right, right. Nine, eight, seven. Fire hole! <laughs> Imagine some wee old deals on our way to the shops and that gets off. So I think it's the blitz again. Okay, maybe it's not the safest way to dispose of an airbag. Or even the most responsible. But it's the funnest! We've lost a lot of space for activities here. <laughs> oh, that was just a dead space anyway. Mm. That definitely has a dead space now. It's like when you go to a really <laughs> zoo. 
and you look through the window and you're trying to spot the animals inside. Have you seen any small dogs, Dave? No. So it's not that shit, so. Right. Oh, right. oh yeah, the little, the little, let's look at the, the little <laughs> press. Maybe that, tomorrow will be is an actual press. Depressing. Yeah. Yeah. It really is awful, actually, isn't it? Can we just put it in the vice now? Cause yeah, let's put it in the vice. Yeah. Got, and let's got, hit it with things. We've got things to do. Yeah. We, we need a bigger hammer. Ah, uh, what, what are we using this for? That's the only hammer we've got. We don't have a bigger hammer. Like, what, what better hammer do you need? This, this is the biggest problem with, with G, is he's always got a tool. <laughs> have a the tool. Wait, there's a fresh right there. Do you want to use that? that was if you would like to chat that out, Jenny, whilst you call me do something else. If you've got a bigger hammer, I'm all about this. How was wrong with that? It needs to be a lump hammer. I, 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 I don't know, but there's a jeweler somewhere that's like, <laughs> how am I supposed to put this watch back together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just the 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 yeah, some more. Another bit of wood just to slot. Um, can I try my one last idea? You can have it. <laughs> Absolutely. One last, one last go. Oh, um, <coughs> yeah, I don't think the valve's going to reach that low though. No, 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 Remember tighten that nipple right up. Yeah, because the nipple's what's going to make this fail. Is this it's not just going to lift, Dave? What? No, but this is only. The... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Try well, it. Just go and see. This, 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 is, this isn't bolted to the table, is it? It's heavy, though. It's I keep not. On, I keep, it's really I'm curious. Oh. Look, there it goes. <laughs> oh. Oh, bro. <clears throat> That lifted that pretty easily though. I like, I like that, I like that. Has that pushed it out at all? Nah. I think that's what this Hey! So we'll just pop the, uh, the hub off. As you can see, the outer race is still on this. Now, what we didn't do in the TVR episode, which is up here, is replace these bearings. We just paste them and put them back on. This will need to be chopped off. Yay! And that will leave the bear hub, which we will press the new bearing onto, or press into the new bearing more around. But before we do that, because modified car yo, these studs are going to get hammered out and replaced as well. Do you think I could do it in a one-off? No. Could you just do it in a one-off? Yes. Could you? Uh-huh. Okay, bets are on. Hey, right, Dave, you're up. Shot. I know, but I've got another hub though. I want to try and get a one. We don't have another TV though. Jesus, man, there's a lot of pent up violence going on with you, Dave. There is, isn't there? Mm. It's because right. I'm so mellow all of the time. Oh, that's the best one yet. Oh, that's the best one yet. <laughs> and another two, consistency. <laughs> oh, yeah, another two. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's not three, motherfucker. Right, so what's going to happen now uh, is we are going to send Dave away and see he has a better press. I don't actually have a press. I would just have to battle these out with a hammer, which I'm sure in episodes to come I'll show you the pain that's involved with that. So there's no point. Dave's got a 20 ton press, we'll get these old burners out and get the new ones in. Uh, once we do that, we can actually start reassembling suspension, putting it back together. Uh, then we'll move on to the engine. Right, time hop time. There we go, welcome back. Quick time hop, quick outfit change. We're now ready for winter. Well, actually, not really ready for winter. Dave hasn't changed at all. <laughs> no, no. I actually have, that's not a thing. <laughs> no. Don't ever change. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Right, okay, so uh, the good news is this man has got the hubs out. Aye. The bearings out the hubs. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Let's see your hands. Still so clean as well. Very soft. <laughs> I smell of meat. I've <laughs> got to chop off these guys. Mm -hmm. I'm not the, the, the best with a grinder, but I'm happy How to try How big a grinder it. do you I've heard, I've heard you're a pro one. <laughs> yeah, I've grinder. Got a mini, I've got a mini grinder. What I'm going to do here, to get these off, I'm going to cut 
kind of perpendicular to this so that the disc's going to go in like that and kind of cut right across there as close as possible to this without touching this it's a bit of an art this i'm not gonna lie the spike we used to crucify jesus but it'll do there's a railroad somewhere that's missing the spike man <laughs> <laughs> oh thomas look at that not even a not scratch sight <laughs> Shut up. Hey! I think I could reuse that bit. Do you know what? I wouldn't put that by you. <clears throat> right, let's put some hubs back together. <laughs> Finally. Ah, they still smell like that. Okay. You happy enough? With what? Chuck these back in the bearing. Should we give them a wee? Put some really fine sandpaper on them. I don't think so. Yeah. How harsh do you want to? Yeah, it's a piece. Oh, it should be fine. That's actual sandpaper. Yeah. Jesus, I haven't even got that anymore. <laughs> what grit's that? Three. They basically just went down with some flypaper and dropped it at the beach. We're going to do another one. I just try my best every day. Put on that white shade on the fingers. So what we're going to do uh, is use the world's most pathetic press to push in. That's it. You're not getting it. I'm That's fine. It, <laughs> Good. I'm going to draw it to that table so it never leaves. I'm glad because if it escapes, <laughs> we'll all be really, really disappointed. <laughs> so these are modern day automotive bearings. So in older cars where you had like a long spigot, you'd have an outer and an inner bearing. Um, on this, it's all one unit. So you've got an outer and an inner bearing and they're the same size uh, and you just run the hub through it, torque it all up and it runs lovely. However, getting it in is always a challenge. So first thing we're going to have to do, you have to be fastidiously clean with this. So this will need to be cleaned up. That will, I'm sorry Dave, need to be cleaned up better. <laughs> <laughs> it was a noble effort, but nah, I, I'm not feeling <laughs> grinding dirt into this. So what we'll do is we're going to push it in with the press, uh, get it nicely seated. And then once we throw the circle up in, we'll flip it upside down and then we press this guy in and then it's ready to go back in the car. So we're going to use a hockey puck. What is the worst that can happen? Right, I need some lubricant. Dr. Pepper was in the Let's do a, do a run through with this first. Have you got a rag? A really clean one or just any one? I prefer a rag. Yeah, Did you get your dinner off that? Done, alright, is it cleaner? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite like, the one, the one can of everything for the whole job. Right. Clean the bed As long as the majority of it's um, not got that. kitchen towel there, is that? I would laugh. So that's not going to make much difference to that. If that just fell in, I would, I would not stop laughing. Here's one. Here I think it's the hockey puck that's really going to make this work. <laughs> yeah, no, it looks okay. I mean, apart from the fact that the press looks sweet, it looks okay. I think it's more the fact that it's the puff that's compressing rather than the... I'll do that, though. Something just happened there, and I don't think... It, it, moved, it dropped in a little it bit. It went in straight. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Ideally, we would have used the old shell of the old bearing, but during the bit that was off camera, i.e. where Dave went to save the day, he binned the old ones. <laughs> right, okay, um, for the sake of progressing things, we're going to use the second bearing to continue driving in the first bearing. <laughs> now this won't work because it's the same diameter and it'll push it home. However, um, more ardent viewers will probably realise why this is a terrible idea. Not a terrible idea, but it's not going to complete the job because, hmm. well, you know. Sounds like the start of some Pink Floyd song, doesn't it? I would say another two bongs. Two bongs? Two full bong toys. Observe. The calibrated bongs, obviously. Mm -hmm. Two bongs. Two and a half. Two and a bit, but that thing, that's it. Wait, is that it in? That's it. You see how the note changed in the last one? Voice. That is a thing of beauty. Oh, no. Perfect. These frosty boys, freshly chilled. 
Right, okay. Um, My fingers are stuck. Oh no. It's like your tongue, right? Oh, dude. Yeah, it's my stick to it. No. Yeah. Ah! 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 Fanny. That really hurt. Can you clean your saliva off of that so we can press it in, Dave? Right, do the thing. End up. That must be going to spin it right yeah. solid. Uh-huh. Dead! Is that cold? We did a thing! We yeah. definitely did a thing. I think we did there. Yeah, well, let's see if the thing is. My tongue still hurts. Oh. This is how you go put in both studs. <laughs> No, 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 that's it. See if we can. Do you know what? This is absolutely the way to do them. But, yeah. See, you do things right, it gets boring, man. There's no yeah. drama. Oh, mate. That's what six ton looks like. I think it's, it's not this, it's the socket that's coming down. We got it. Oh, dudes, where's the 29? <laughs> the 29 is exactly the tool we need. Again, the last step in the chain is to press the hub back into the hub carrier. We'll take the bus a bit out first and we'll have fun. And it should be sliding across. Oh wow, that's almost as if you had it all set up ready to go. You know? If you get halfway down this and it stops moving, there's a very good reason for it. There's two, no, there's two parts of this and you don't want to push it too hard and blow the second one out. Victory pose. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do the gang arms. Oh, yeet with it. Or like do the... What's it called? Probably not, not necessarily. Uh, so you probably remember way back in the first episode we did in this, we ran a competition. Uh, if you comment, there's a chance you can win some status error stickers and some tools and track stickers. Well, we haven't forgot what we have, but we've now remembered. <laughs> and we're going to pick a winner. So we're just doing a random scroll through the comments now and Gianni's going to stab somebody who's going to be a winner. Don't even like that, just uh, this guy, this guy, Courtney, Courtney <laughs> Barker, Courtney Barker, Courtney Barker, you are the winner, infostatuserror.co.uk or easily, just reply to that, and then I'm pretty sure I can private message you, Barry's Red Cola, we're giving away a tin of GT85, win yourself one of these, because we've now got pretty much, and uh, we'll pick a winner in the next episode, thanks for watching guys, in the next episode we are going to be chucking this engine up the arse of the MR2, so stay tuned for that, if you haven't subscribed already, the button's down here, uh, catch another episode here, and we will see you next time.